Hello, hello. When you jump on, say hi. I can't even tell you <laughs> the technology difficulties that I'm having this wonderful Monday morning. Oh, you guys, it's been a challenge. It's been a minute, okay? Literally, you have no idea. I've been working on this for probably an hour or something. And do you know, sometimes that's a Monday, right? And sometimes that's just any day. We just have a thousand and one challenges and you just want to like throw in the towel and be like, okay, I give you in. I'm done. Don't ever give Erica. Hi, girl. You don't respond to me. I'm feeling hurt. <laughs> I have something that I still haven't sent you. It's, um, well, sitting here because I've had my other honey to honey do list to do but in one of the things I sent you a link to be in our group please don't freak out it's just so that I can notify you of things because you are a beauty box gal um, because there is something that's literally dropping uh, info in like the next 15 or so minutes and it's a surprise for you on Wednesday if you're interested so get in my group <laughs> <laughs> or tell me how to hook up with you <laughs> all right you guys but literally don't ever throw in the towel sometimes do you know like when we are struggling with something like sometimes you get this close and you give up and you didn't realize you were that close Okay, and it means the world to me to jump on here, to encourage you. I get to say hi to my girl that I haven't been able to get her a hold of. Little things like that, you guys, it just literally, I struggle if I miss a day. And not because like, oh, I'm worried over something. It's because I want to chat. I want to see you guys. I want to encourage you the best way that I can. And so literally, I do know that there are times in life where we are pushing so hard for something or even if it's our own mental struggles and we are trying to do the things and we get so close and we're just like, dang, I'm exhausted. I can't go anymore. Literally, that could have been me this morning. I'm not even kidding you guys. I've been fighting this thing for over an hour, just trying to get on with you all. So here we are here we are here we are if you're catching this part you might be catching the replay do me a favor touch my nose somewhere all up in my face turn on your notifications three little dots will pop up you want to turn them on however make sure all are on not just the highlights otherwise guess what you still miss the things okay and if you will do me a favor hashtag miss me let me know that you stop by also if you will hit the little bubbles below if you will send this out to your friends it helps my business Facebook has this weird thing about algorithms right so the more that you touch a bubble down below the more that they then push my stuff out okay so it helps me and really you don't even know that you're helping me, okay? So if you would, I would greatly appreciate it into your groups, onto your page, whatever. Nine out of ten times, I'm very uplifting. I can be funny sometimes. I mean, I can be. So you never know. Somebody might just really need a good laugh for the day. Okay, hello, hello. And if you are seeing me above, please say hi. Do all the things I am obviously it's Monday. <laughs> I am here for it, right? My gosh, my gosh. So if you're seeing the red button above, probably about in your like left-hand corner, you're catching me live. You're watching Quickster's Corner, and I am Liz. <laughs> Erica, you know what? I want to say, like, I was posting it even, like, as a reply to, like, one of the videos because I couldn't get your attention. Um, but I will try. <laughs> yes, we have it on, you guys. I missed it. <laughs> Jennifer, Jennifer, I have been seeing it. I know I don't always post, but girl, yes, we have been praying, praying, praying for Gannon. You bet. All right, you guys. Yes, it took like a couple of brushes for me to like approve out of my husband's brushes. But it's finally back on my finger. <laughs> yes. Yes. We're there. And you know what? Because I was starting to like really like 
I don't know. I'm really weird about my rings. I even have on my ring he bought for my five-year anniversary. It's got our last name on it. Then it's wrapped in stones. Oh, hi. It's also a platinum ring. I'm allergic to most other things. So most of my stuff, my good stuff is platinum. Uh, it is the only metal that I don't seem to be allergic to. However, you know, depending on like the weight comes and goes. So five years, not five years ago, my gosh. Now, 12 years ago, that thing fit like it wouldn't come off my finger. Now, every once in a while, I'm like, ooh. And it's not really something I can have sized. Yes. So, I didn't want to finish the almond milk. So, is there any others I can put in the fridge? Because I'm going to have cereal. Wow, that tooth is like almost tilting more. Yes or no? What? The front one, yeah. Oh, okay, we'll keep an eye on it. Um, I want, I'm either having acai or quinoa this morning. So I can't have almond milk? Yeah, you can have it. That's what I'm telling oh, okay. you. Okay. How about it? I remember I plan to go to the grocery store today. That's like next on the list. Milk? That's why we're getting bougie. Over here, we're getting bougie because we're going to the grocery store. I don't know about you, but I. <laughs> yep. I put a ring on it. <laughs> Erica, you are technology challenged. Oh my gosh, I love technology. Look, I, I love to break technology, I should say. Do you know, like, any company that I worked for, I always was a tester for our IT department. And honestly, I think they love to hate me because I would find all the loopholes. I would break all the things that they thought they so magically had all together. Mm, right here, that's me. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. All right. It's a Monday. And I just really wanted to focus on the eyes today. So if you are new to me, don't know all the things, um, literally our sale this month, every month we do a customer bundle sale. And... Um, this one is literally, I love it, you guys. On one hand, it's at, it's super simplistic. And so some people might be like, oh, well, uh. But if you are like not in the eyeshadow game or you're not even sure where to start, I love this bundle for that, okay? So you get to choose two eyeshadows, an eyeliner, a mascara of your choice, and a eye brush of your choice. Okay, so we're going to be using all the things today. Okay, we're going to be doing it. <laughs> so, let's get started. And honestly, I chose like very, kind of like earth tones, but very basic shadows this morning. But we're going to bougie it up. Oh, yes, we are. So, Hello, eyebrows. Mm, I already did one for you. We'll do the other when we go to do the other eye. But can we just talk eyebrows, you guys? Okay, look, I have a brow. It's not like I don't have one. But here's the thing with your eyebrows. Your eyebrows like to match your hair. Mm. So if you are starting to get gorgeous sparkle strands through your hair like I have, mm, your brows are gonna start getting sparkle strands too. <laughs> if your hair is thinning, your brows thin. Okay, it mimics whatever's going on here. It does here, and guess what? Sometimes it does here. So, super important that at some point you get in the brow game. Okay, at some point you're gonna have to join it whether you want to or not, but it's gonna come to you. So sometimes it's better to get started sooner rather than later. Like I will tell you honestly, I am grateful that I have started like messing with my brows and doing my brows because my vision is not getting any better. So trying to do brows when you're losing your vision, I'm thinking, well, it'll be like my grandma. One day, my grandma pulled out a pencil out of her makeup bag thinking that it looked brown and that she was going to doodle on her brows. And she did a color kind of like this right on them brows. Had no idea. She was up holding my 
Little, which is now nine years old, he was sitting in her lap, and I got the biggest tickle of it. And honestly, I share that picture every year. She was not very happy to, with me that I posted it on social media and shared with the whole world that she did it. But honestly, for me, it wasn't even about the brows. It was literally about four, gen right, grandma, mom, me, my kids. Yeah, four generations having the best giggle that morning. And it was I just such a good, joyful giggle. And her reaction and everything was so priceless. So I can't help but share the picture every year. But of course, now as I get older and I have a little bit of vision stuff going on, oh, uh, it makes me giggle even more, you guys. All right, look, brows help frame your face, okay? Check out over here. I would dare to bet that your attention is drawn here. Somewhere all up in here into my eye, and you are just naturally drawn to this direction. Over here, there's nothing really pulling you to that side of my face. There's nothing grabbing your attention. Now, hey, look, I love to use the analogy, it's like a picture frame. You don't spend hundreds of dollars to go get beautiful family portraits done and have one to put up on the wall and not frame it. Typically, now sometimes a canvas style is great. But most of the time, when it's like that ultimate family picture or your wedding pictures, I would dare to say most of us have a gorgeous, huge wedding portrait in our house, and it's framed. Yes? No? Mm, I bet so. So here's the thing. The frame isn't what makes the picture, right? It adds to it. It accentuates it and it just makes it that much more like wow so somebody walks into the room the picture frame is typically what will catch the eye the picture is then what keeps their attention and draws them near right hello that's your eyebrows they're gonna grab the attention but they're gonna then your eyes are gonna be what keeps somebody talking to you and looking at you in the face okay so hey hey i've already got a brow on let's go in with our eyes oh i just had something go on with my lighting hmm, it's a technology thing i'm just gonna ignore it okay <laughs> just ignore it. just ignore it. <laughs> all right again this morning i've gone in with two very light looks uh or light eyeshadows they're kind of earth tone just very neutral, very simple. But I'm going to show you how we can make these just two basic ones go a really, like, wow way. Okay? Here they are. Mm, look, you might be like, oh, no, no. Stay tuned. Okay? We've got nimble and we've got laid back. Okay? And you don't have to remember these. Right up above where my face is, right below that is today's link. I have tagged today's customer sale with the colors that I am using today. I will also pin my site here in general for you. So, hey, if you want to go look around, you want to shop, you want to do any of the things, I will pin it down below so that you've got it. Uh, the other thing that is then right below by my face, the other link that is there is all things that I share. For example, if you're like loving my headband here, it is called a link tree. You click on that hyperlink and it is all things me. Want to get to my Instagram? Oh, click the button. You want to get to my YouTube channel? Oh, click the button. You want to go to my Amazon favorites and get you some of this headband? Woo! Click the button and you can find my stuff, okay? So, super easy for you. I've tried to make it as easy as possible so that, I don't know about you, but I get bored sometimes. If I'm trying to find something and it's too hard, I'm like, I'm out. I got to go somewhere else. I got to do other things, right? So, I've tried to make it as easy as pie for you. Thank you, Erica. Hello, hello. Hey, I will be sharing with you guys probably in about, well, when I'm off of this. When I'm off of this, I will share with you guys what is dropping Wednesday. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We're first going to go in with Nimble. Mm, kind of this... It's a satin color, so as you can see, there's got a little bit of like a, I call it like a sheen, but not very much, okay? And I am going to be using the crease brush. This is not the brush that I linked for you, okay? So this is why I'm telling you. And I'm going to start over here in this corner. 
And I'm going to kind of do a combination of tapping that color in and then doing a little bit of a windshield wiper motion. The uh, thing to do, <laughs> so when I am pressing in, okay, it is going to put the richest, basically give it that richest tone available. Brushing it out is obviously going to soften it up, okay? I am going to be using multiple eye brushes to give us our amazing look today. Here's the thing, if you haven't noticed, I have very hooded eyes. Yes, I do. So on one hand, I kind of have very small real estate to work with up in here. You guys, it's super important when you're trying to find like looks. Okay, can I mimic this look? Can I do this look? Especially if we've got a glam event, right? Are we going to a wedding? Are we having a fancy date night? Is there a fancy dinner party? Look, I'm over here dreaming for the days that some of these things are like back into effect, if you know what I mean. Um, I am missing some, my, look at you guys. Can I just tell you how weird it is for uh, my husband's job? He basically wears a suit every day, all day, all the things. Well, because, um, what do you call it? Cleaners haven't been open. Basically, he he has no dress code right now. Uh, they're allowed to pretty much wear whatever. They do not have people entering their office at this time. So it's summer. So he's in shorts. I kind of am missing him all dressed up. I'm, I'm not accustomed to this, you guys. Normally, my husband is very, like, put together every day. And I'm like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> So I'm a little concerned that when this is all done, look, he doesn't gain really weight, but I'm wondering how, like, I guarantee I had the COVID-20, <laughs> if you know what that is. But him, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I think he's going to have a little bit of a... A shape issue <clears throat> when he goes to put his suit pants back on. I think so. <laughs> All right, this is the brush that I did link up above for you. It is our blending brush. I absolutely love this brush. I call this the magic brush, okay? So I am just adding a little bit of color out here. Get out of the way, curls. You're in my way. And I'm just softening this up out in here, okay? And I'm just spinning circles. There is nothing to it, okay? And we will come back to that. Okay, so one of the things that's going to then make this really just stand out, be phenomenal, that kind of thing, we're going to do this a little different because as you remember... We have a nice light shade. And the reason I like something really light on my eye is you can see as I'm doing this. Can you see my eye shrinking? Mmm. Yep. Your girl can look like she's got really small, beady little eyes. So I want my eyes to be open. I want them to be like welcoming in. So first I gotta find my brush. Oh, I already have my brush out. I promise I was prepared. I just forgot I was prepared. <laughs> do you ever do that? I hear little feet sneaking. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use my concealer brush. It takes very little concealer. I put it here on my hand to get it all warmed up. That way it's not thick and all the things because our concealer is literally full, 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 full coverage. Okay, and if you just take it as is, it can be a very thick coverage. I don't like thick anything. So all you need to do is literally put it on your skin, put it on your fingers, and get it to warm up. And then it becomes a nice, thin, creamy consistency. Jennifer, I miss my hubby in his business attire too. Hubby has been home since April, earlier than most, due to Gannon's medical. Oh. Right? So Hubby's not home. He's, they've never closed the office. He's been in the office the entire time of all this. It's just certain, um, what I would call like protocols have changed, right? Like 
again, because they know that cleaners are closed, they're not required to wear, I mean, he doesn't wear a full-blown suit, but suit pants and uh, a dress shirt and tie. Uh, but since the cleaners are closed, uh, they don't obviously want to have the men, well, and women, damaging their clothes, throwing them in the washers and stuff. And so, literally, um, they're not having to wear the things. So, it's just... It's just different. And I don't know that I would have ever, like, told you that I missed that kind of thing. Because it's not that I, I don't know, it, it's not that I necessarily would say that I even care. So, um, okay, so the other thing. Hey, when you have hooded eyes, one of, like, the main, like, things that you need to do is when you are doing your makeup, you need to look straight on at your mirror. Don't look down at your mirror, okay? So, like, a minute ago, I was going down so that I can try and get somewhat of a decent shape here with my concealer. But I wasn't high enough. And you don't know that because literally when we're looking down, you already feel like, but I've put the makeup all the way up to here. I look ridiculous. And then you look straight at the mirror and you're like, Where'd the eyeshadow go? Because if you're like me and this is all the real estate you have, you put on that eyeshadow and it pretty much looks like a liner and you're like, so I did all that for nothing? <laughs> no, no. Look straight at it or even slightly upward just a little. That way, obviously, it really, uh, if you have hooded eyes, closes up that lid so that you can see how high up to go, okay? Because again, the feel is very, very deceiving. So you need to look to do, okay? And sometimes I forget. Because I will tell you, this one over here that I'm looking at, it's kind of down. If I prop it up, it covers then the camera. So I can't do that. Um, but sometimes I forget to look up and I'm like, oh, oh, like where did the look go? That's not what I anticipated. Okay, so there you go. We really lightened that up, right? So I'm now going to take Laid Back, which again is a, uh, this one is a matte finish. Typically, I love a metallic on my eyes, but again, this, you have so many looks that you can do with it. And again, just because they're too like earth tone, very neutral colors, you guys, doesn't mean that it has to be a basic look. We are still going to wow this. My husband's employer and boss has thankfully been understanding through this COVID. He is an essential employee. He designs the molds that make the plastic bottles worldwide. Laundry and fabric softener. Oh. Yes, Jennifer. Which, by the way, um, if you all might have already been playing on my site, or maybe you're even getting a little frustrated that you are uh, trying to maybe restock something and you're having a problem getting it on my site, please have a little bit of patience, okay? So some of our things are coming from overseas, such as... The spritzer, I'll give you an example, the spritzer of um, the setting spray. For example, something like this might come from overseas. And it's getting held up in customs and sitting in customs five times longer than it used to because of new uh, COVID regulations. And it has to sit in quarantine for eh, a while. So it's taking a while. Then our... Um, some of the things that were being produced and in one of our plants, our plants now has to do essential things first before they can produce some of our stuff. So for example, our opulence lipstick, please don't get frustrated. Please hold out. Or if you need something that will tide you over in the interim, let me know. But there are several of our shades that literally are on back order and you might be seeing that that back order date keeps getting pushed back further and further. I apologize. The plant that creates our opulence lipstick uh, was deemed essential for certain products, and those products have to be created or done first, however you want to put that, okay? Um, so, 
bear with us. It's all going to come together, I promise. Okay, so I'm just kind of tapping that on there, getting that color real good on there. Now we're going to go back to our nimble. And we're going to dip in with that blending brush just a little. And right out here in this outer area, I'm going to go over that laid back just slightly. So it kind of gives it a soft, however you want to call it, maybe like an ombre look right out in here. But again, it creates some dimension to the eye that really just kind of fancies it up, if you will. Okay. Um, what brush was that? I just threw something on the floor. Oops, I threw something on the floor. And I, like that, I grabbed a smaller brush. Again, I have smaller eyes. So, working in this little bit of real estate and trying not to mess it up, I need a smaller brush. All right, do you see, do you see, do you see? All right, now the other thing that I have tagged for you is an eyeliner. I tagged the pencil for you. So with this look, again, um, just trying to keep it nice, bright looking, kind of keeping it, uh, again, dramatic, but kind of simple. Some people are totally into wings. Some people are like, no, wings scare the living bejesus out of me. Okay, so don't do a wing if you don't want to. Look, I'm just going to lift my eye just a little bit. These are so absolutely creamy, you guys. And you just go right on that lash line. I'm not going as I'm trying to hold and talk. I can't hold and talk. It tickles, if anything. I am not going, whoo, I'm going to make my eye, like, that tickled a lot. I am not, like, touching my eyeball, okay? I'm flipping that up just enough where I can get that waterline and touch it ever so softly, okay? Now, you could take this exact same one and you could line it. I like to use this little liner um, brush. I don't even think of the word brush, Lord. And buff it out. But you could just line the lashes, and let me make sure I got out in here good, because I was getting awfully tickly. Woo! And then I like to do just partial of the way here, okay, to pull that eye together. All right, so what's that done is it has literally basically like made the eye more defined and it's also going to make my lashes look thicker and fuller okay again you could do a wing if you guys want me to do a wing i can add the wing uh and to make it more like woo -woo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right but for now do you see how simple and easy you guys like two colors yeah, because we literally took that concealer all the way out, which right in here, where I am trying to add a little bit more to it, is like my my eye pit, my problem child area. You wouldn't have that. I'm just telling you. Unless you got eye pits like I do, you're not going to have that light marking right there. But I love, because again, where it's buffed out, it looks like I've used a transition shade. I haven't. Coming in and again, adding it over top of this makes it look like I added a different shade. I didn't. There's literally two shades there, you guys. That's all I've used. And yet, it's still open. It's very eye-catching. My cup is empty. Look, he didn't even want to be called to fill up my water bottle. He said, here, you do it, Mom. <laughs> Okay. 
All right. I will put my lashes on. So I will finish the eye look. If we decide we want a liner, let me know. Or I can even do it on the other eye so you guys can see with liner and without if you were to do a wing. If you are somebody that is not comfortable with the liner, honestly, or you've got hooded eyes and you are just learning, I honestly love our dip and draw. Ooh, got, got my eye. I love our dip and draw because it literally has a very pointy edge. Okay. So it allows you to make a very thin line. Um, so Siri thought she should talk to us and listen nosy <laughs> uh, because it allows me to do a very thin line again doing eyeliner with hooded eyes can be very tricky because if I make it too fat I literally lose my real estate and I cover up what I just did okay so it can be very tricky but that is the key where I tell you you'd want a thin gorgeous little brush to help keep that real thin and buff it and get it to the direction that you want it to be you don't have to literally take the pencil across the whole thing. I only take the pencil about to here and then I use my little brush and I do it the rest of the way, okay? So I'm going to be putting on the 4D mascara. Excuse my itch. This is also the mascara I tagged, but please know up top... Uh, I made it real simple so that if you like this look, you like these colors, you just click on that link and it takes you directly to a shopping cart. But you can change any of it that you want to change. I looked up and so it touched my eye right there. I can feel that. I can feel that lash doing the things. I feel like I have a hair on my nose. Like, go away. Oh, I threw the brush. Look at how, how gorgeous is that, you guys? And yet, literally, two eyeshadows, not, like, not anything really hard, okay? So, I would tell you, we're going to do the other eye now, but you want a, and again, I tagged the blending brush. It was probably the one I used the least, but honestly, I have not found a comparable brush comparable oh I can't say it I'm fine I give up just seriously this has been my Monday I have not found something comparable to it bristle wise shape wise all of the things okay but honestly I love these other brushes um the fluffy crease brush I have two of but I'm using just a crease brush I love it because it's just the like the bristles are tight enough, all the things. Let me move my mirror because that way I will be this way to you and we will make our eye match. Here we go. Check it out, you guys. And again, if you wanted to bring color down below, this is the brush to do it with. You could do that. If you have small eyes like I do. If you have bigger eyes, you could use the fluffy crease brush, all the things. Because I don't and the way my eyes are shaped, this one is perfect for me. So again, I'm just going over here in this corner Kind of making a seven, a V, whatever you want to call the shape. I am tapping that color on. This is the point that I want the deepest amount of color. So I am pushing that product in. Again, if you are somebody with hooded eyes, make sure that you are looking straight at it. Otherwise... You won't come up high enough. You will feel like, do you see like how much gap that I have here? And I don't over here. 
because looking down, I feel like I've gone up to here to paint my eyes, okay? That's not the case. It just feels that way. And I'm using this brush to get kind of that real just deep layer in. And I have to remember to look up. I just can't see really well here. Couple things to note. See where I am holding my brush. As I go through this, you guys, you want to use your lightest hand like possible. You know when you were taught how to color when you were a little kid based on, you know, using colored pencils down here you would use to trace or to make the area darker, hold it out here and you're able to shade and get a lighter color. That's the same kind of thinking when you're using some of the brushes and how you apply it to your eyes, okay? You want to be holding the brush outward and the lighter the touch, the better. Uh, again, you can always darken it. Like that, I'm kind of going over it a little bit more. You can always darken. Harder to lighten it, if you know what I mean. Hi, Julie. So I do have a little bit of product on this brush. And I am literally circular motions, okay? And it's basically going to do what I call buff it out. Soften those edges. Okay. Mm, again. We're going to put a little bit of concealer on our hand. Use the concealer brush. So if you have a brush that's like this, it is perfect to do this kind of thing with. Again, it does not take very much, okay? And I'm basically, you guys, when I first go in, I am following like my natural like where the bone is. Do you see like I'm, I'm right into there to the bone. And as you can see, because I have mature skin, I'm kind of getting a little bit where my skin creases. So I've got to go slow. Kind of got to make sure the end of the brush is damp enough to glide back and forth over the eye. I like to get that shape first. Fill it in. Again, I'm kind of more or less tapping it in. And then of course you wanna make sure that you look up, do I have them even? Have I gone up high enough? Because again, looking down, most of the time we don't go up high enough. Um, I almost called you by your last name. Sorry, Paula. This literally, um, for like any of the shades that you would use will make it pop. So for over in this corner, it's still the exact same shade of brown. It's that nimble, but it's much lighter. And really, I can't shade it to get it kind of good shade, right? So it'd be just like if we were to use black and do a smoky eye look. You could do the exact same thing, right? But mixing the black and the white becomes a grayish color. So it looks like you've added another color to it. So it's giving that dimension to the eye. And when you are using such a drastic lighter shade, it won't always like come through depending on the pigmentation of that darker shade. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Also, I find for me, I have very translucent lid, meaning you can literally see my veins through. 
and then kind of like the other side where I have that eye patch I have temperamental lids literally you guys like oh they're a challenge and so uh, this will also help for my color to last all day long because I've got hooded eyes, so let me tell you, I prepped my eyes before I went in and just started doing eyeshadow, okay? Meaning I put eye primer on my eyes. Having hooded eyes, your girl has oils on her lids, okay? Which most people do, but when you have hooded eyes, typically your eyes are oily, more oily than somebody else that doesn't have a hooded eye. The other thing to note as well as that is... Again, each one of us would be different on how much oil is on our lid versus somebody else. So for me, I would tell you like I have a medium oil to my lid. It does every once in a while depending on the mascara. It doesn't honestly with these and I don't just say that because it's these. My oil will not break down this mascara, but I do have, for example, I used to wear a, <clears throat> I think it was a CoverGirl long lash uh, mascara my lid oil I would end up having mascara down here by the end of the day that has to do with your lid oil breaking down the makeup okay all of your skin right has a type of oil to it you might be somebody that throughout the day which is common through here which is called your t-zone your makeup breaks down this is where like you see women like on television and movies right they're in the bathroom powdering their face okay it has to do with putting the makeup basic basically I can't talk now putting your makeup back on because your oils are designed to protect your skin to clean it out to get it off and we are basically putting something foreign on the skin so it's wanting to Facebook is tripping today uh oh <laughs> it is basically wanting to remove the makeup that you've put on there Well, my lids will do the exact same thing. So right now, literally, I am zigzagging right over top of that on this outer shade, Nimble again. Okay? So again, as you can see, it's just going on as a softer color. And it's just adding a little bit of dimension to it. Again, see how far out I'm holding the brush very softly. Okay? So it's getting soft and then going into that deeper color. Now I used my other brush and I'm just going to buff this out a little bit in here. And then of course the other thing too of using the concealer, I can get a very defined look. Again, having hooded eyes, kind of losing that color. I need to bring the color up, right? Normally a lot of people with hooded eyes They'll just do their lid, and then you're like, my eyes don't look like somebody else's. Okay, look, you guys, I realistically, look how high up I came, and when I hold my eyes up like this, it doesn't look so, you know, crazy as, like, it feels. You guys, it feels weird when you do that, let me just tell you. And I am a little darker on one side versus the other. I typically do my eyes like together. I don't do one at a time, but I wanted to show you the full look and where we were going with it. I don't typically do that because again, I do have a tendency to make them a little different. This eye is my trouble eye. That's why I did it first. Oh, we don't have a brow either. That'll also change the look of this. Okay, which let's let's just talk about that. <clears throat> All right, so a couple things going on over here. Because we don't have the liner on. We don't have the lashes on. This eye is looking more lazy eye, droopy eye, however you want to put it, than the other. The other one also is dragging your attention more. And it's not because of necessarily the eyeshadow that I've done. But you are drawn more to this side, more to this eye, than you are to this one. They're the same thing. I have done the same thing. But you're drawn to it because of the eyebrow. Okay? Don't ask me why these things are true, but they're true. Okay? <laughs> so make sure that you're doing a brow. Make sure that it's, again, giving definition. 
Maybe you are somebody that you are younger, you've got gorgeous brows. All that you need to do is making sure that your shape is clean at all times, okay? It doesn't mean that you have to do a full brow. But if you're like me, you got to do a brow. Look at the difference, you guys. I'll put the lashes on. You'll see. You'll see you're still going to be drawn to this eye. All right, um, stuck the pencil. Here we go. Again, we're going to lift up. Just do right there along that lash line. And I am just doing this outer corner type area. I'm not going to bring it all the way in. When I bring things all the way in, it tends to make my eyes look smaller because I have what's called downturned eyes. Oh, if somebody's got all the negatives, your girl's got them. I got all the things that to make your eyes look smaller as opposed to bigger, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's me over here. <laughs> okay, we're going to put on some lash primer. Okay, we're going to put on some This is very conditioning for your lashes. If you are a curly girl person, think of this as your leave-in treatment. And I'm going to need to brush my lashes because they are like kissing cousins over here today. We can't have none of that going on. Oh, wrong side. Hello. I also have like... Okay, so with the lash serum, where I really notice how amazing my lashes are is in my inner corner and in my outer corner. That is when I notice like, ooh, I am being good with my lash serum or when I'm not. So like right now, these like inner, inner corner lashes are getting so long. They're kissing with the lower lashes, and it's hard to keep them apart. Mm-hmm. The other thing to do when you're putting on your mascara, don't ever pump your wand. It will dry out your product. You want, you want to swirl, okay, if you're thinking you need more product on there. Hair, get out of the way, otherwise you're going to have mascara on you. The other thing to watch, look, I don't talk very well when I'm putting on mascara, otherwise I will mess it up. So, if you are hooded eyes, make sure that you are looking down, not looking down, looking down to put your mascara on so that you don't hit up in here. You want to squint to do those lower lashes. Gives them kind of like a lift and helps you to get in there. Oh, no, I just made them kiss him worse. I was trying to separate them, but they weren't wanting to play, were they? All right, and possibly one side. Okay, so look. Brow, no brow. You see it? Do you see it? Like, you guys, do <laughs> do something with your brows. Don't leave them. I will tell you, honestly, for the longest time I didn't do my brows, it was like, I have brows. They're not too thin. They're not too thick. They're okay. I have okay brows. Then I learned, like, just doing a little bit, how much it changes and draws your attention in. And hello, I prefer people to talk to me right here. Like, when we're talking, look at me. For one, I feel like you, like, really feel someone's genuine, like, you can tell, right, when you're looking into their eyes. They always say, right, it's the the windows to your soul like look me in the eyes now look I don't do anything super bougie or anything outstanding to my brows 
I stay right inside my lines basically or right on the outside. I first kind of trace that out and then I fill it in. And I pretty much take my brush in the same direction that the hairs flow. Okay, if you literally are struggling with your brows, I do have a brow tutorial on my YouTube channel. It is older. I do need to redo it or update it or whatever you want to say. I am currently using the brow palette. I love the brow palette, you guys. If you are somebody that are new to brows, it is like paint by number. Okay, you can't really screw it up. I'm just kidding. You can screw it up, but <laughs> I feel like it helps me when I have a paint by number, okay? So I started with one, went in with two, which is out in this outer area. This is going to be three. We're going to use this to trace our brow. It's going to then clean up the shape and make it look super sharp. This is going to highlight our brow bone right in here. And then you use this to keep it straight. And don't like just ignore where I stick my fingernails and everything, okay? Sometimes my nails are a little too long and I stick them in things. Or maybe it happens a lot. Don't judge. Okay, so I'm taking that concealer shade and I am outlining my brows. That's all I'm doing is using it as an outline. You are not in sync today for me. I hear you talking and your lips are not moving. Then your lips will start moving, but no sound. <gasps> See, I told you at the start of this, I worked for an hour or something trying to get my stuff to even work, you guys. That stinks. I am so sorry. Nothing I can do about it. And I have no idea if, like, if you restart, if it will help you or if it's literally on Facebook's end. But since Erica posted that... Facebook's tripping. I'm thinking Facebook is tripping. Which I do appreciate when you all tell me this because a lot of times, depending on if I'm like, ooh, this is a video I need to post to my YouTube channel, I save them from Facebook and I post them over there. And so if it's one that's not synced up, hello, I don't want to post it over there because, Lord, that'd be a pain in the you know what, have somebody watching that. All right, so then the only other thing, honestly, that I like to add to my eyes, I've already got it on my face, is a little bit of highlight. And you could use the highlighter from the brow palette, or if you have a, uh, a highlighter that you use, and I like to use it right here in the inner corner of my eye. Now, please know I go big when I do this. So if you are somebody that does not wear glasses, don't do it big like this. You want to do just small, okay? I go big again because I wear glasses. That's also the reason with hooded eyes and wanting to see the color and all the things that I take it up as high as I do all the things, however you want to say it. Because now, check us out with the glasses. Ah, I still have eyes. You can see me. That's the other reason if you're normally watching me, I highlight as big as I do. I highlight real big because of this. As soon as you put the glasses on and it kind of starts shading and covering and all the things, mm, then it makes my eyes look really dark. Okay, but check it out. Hi, Laura. Earth Tone Colors, super simple, super easy. Again, I there's a huge possibility. We're going to use these colors on repeat tomorrow. So that I can show you a different look just with the two shadows. Again, doing it a little more dramatic today. That's why we lined it with the concealer and we did what we did. Okay, giving it some dimension, some oomph and all the things. Two eyeshadows, you guys. That's all we used today. There you go. 
I hope you guys have a fabulous Monday. It has already been a challenge over here. I will admit it is. Mm. <laughs> but it is okay. It is okay. I hope that when you come across your challenges, that, like I said in the beginning, I hope that you stick with it. Sometimes we get so, so close to the finish line and we had no idea and we quit. So the current items that I use today are on sale up top. If you want to just go poke around at my site, it's down below. There is also a beauty box, you guys. Oh my gosh. It is literally $99 right now and you get 15 products. So basically you'd pay for two. You get 13 free. Did I do my math right? <laughs> The other thing that is absolutely amazing in it right now is that you get $50 credit back to spend on the site immediately. You also get um, where you get 20% back on anything that you purchase yourself. So if you are somebody that's looking for an amazing discount, you want more information on, hello, what products come into this gorgeous thing just let me know and I can talk with you about that I had already done my face but I will post everything that I use today and all the things um when I get off of here I hope you guys have a fabulous Monday I'm going to the grocery store now that I'm all done up thank you all <laughs> bye everybody